hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you one more uh, pro dev project java based on java uh, in this project i completely use jsp servlets and uh, as in id netbean and uh, as a backend mysql database same as my previous uh, videos and previous project uh, the mostly common project uh, like uh, online voting system which you use in your uh, college uh, uh, minor or major project so first i'm going to show you how it will work it is my netbean id In this id i'm going to just uh, right click and run I'm going to run this project for run this project i'm using glassfish uh, server which is already in built in netbean okay this is the main page of the that uh, project so welcome to Indian voting system so the concept is that uh, like uh, the every voter has a voter card and every voter has a unique voter card number <coughs> so when he register every time when is going to register users uh, every time of election they have to register the, the their uh, register their uh, voter card so if I'm going to log in with existing uh, exist uh, voter card number, that it will not allow me login. Okay, sorry, a bot is uh, bot is not allowed. It's already uses because I used this uh, voter card already. So by using the one voter card, you can only uh, vote only once. Second time, it will go wrong. So user has to register first. Like I'm going to register the one new one, demo one. The last name is also demo one. Voter card number is demo one two three for example. The native address is it's was it anything. Okay. Date of birth like zero one zero one nineteen ninety-three. Okay. Next thing is contact number is one two three. Mail ID is demo one at the rate gmail.com. Okay. When user click on register, the register table will be up, uh, updated. So I'm going to show you the database of that. So here is my table database voting and voter register. So first I'm going to execute a query for data of voter register. Select a strict from voter underscore register okay. so here is some example some demo data is there so when I am going to run this I am going to hit this button the data will already insert it uh, with the data will insert in the uh, table okay. register just check the table okay here is the entries demo one demo demo one so is it now user has to go for uh, <coughs> login and uh, for voting system for board to any party so, like so voter need a registration card a re registered voter card number so here is the registered voter card number is demo 123 user enter demo one two three and login okay as user click that number <coughs> this his contact number is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero on this number at that time java will send a uh, otp on this number for example i'm going to take an uh, uh, otp is seven eight nine four and click on vote now user is ready for boat voting so when user user has to enter again his voter number voter card number so voter card number is demo one two three is demo one two three or demo one demo one two three okay select the parties so like he want to um, he want to vote um, uh, to Bahujan Samaj party or BJP or AAP anything Congress want just click on vote the boat is done. Let's check the voting table. Select a streak from boat. So I 
to change the query limit. Select a stick from both. Okay. So here you can see the new demo one two three user voted to BSP, and all the different different users voted different different parties. Okay, now if user try once again for the same voter card number, then it will be maybe error or not. Just check. Demo one two three is trying to log in. So sorry, bot is allow bot is allow only once. You already use this voter card number. The voter card number is demo one two three, which is user. Term. Okay, these all the data like contact numbers <coughs> and uh, voter card numbers are coming from the database. Usually, database connectivity I use in this project like JDBC and uh, in fetching or inserting data already in the database. You can see the contact page, same as all project. You can uh, insert easily data and use insert queries and for contact us and all the things. You can insert anything in this about page as you want and category is not mandatory so we can uh, remove the category from here so like uh, next page Just, i'm going to remove the category from that you want you can add more menus and all so uh, user can easily vote and uh, if admin wants to co count the vote how many parties uh, got how many votes uh, and calculate the result want to calculate the result so we can make an admin panel and show the result on that uh, web page also but uh, uh, still I'm not you using the admin panel for that you can just use the one table one query here like the query is like we select a streak from both because the query is like that there is a different different and you can use the group by cause group by parties party okay so it's uh, bjp seven number index okay there is a three party so we need to use the contact also with party name so party and uh, count count parties okay, so you can see as uh, bjp as a four word and half as a two word and bsp as a recently one word okay so every time when election is going on then uh, user has to register and log in I am going to implement this uh, project in future like uh, uh, sending the SMS uh, on mobile number for a DP and the admin panel and I will mm, make a video one more video and uh, upload it uh, as soon as possible so if you want to use it in your colleges and uh, as a minor project or BCA level or any engineering level if you want to learn how to uh, send data from JSP to JSP to servlet and how to send data to servlet to JSP how to make database connectivity so you can use the code I will provide all the links uh, all the uh, about the code and uh, all the detail about the project how to use it and uh, all the database file also I will import it uh, I will export the all the database uh, related to this project and uh, provide the database you can easily uh, you can easily import the database in your project and uh, import some okay. some files like uh, and import some files like uh, java database connectivity file like libraries here you can see some you need to connect mysql connector java 5.1.jar 
for uh, ser for running the server you need to configure the glassfish server and id as an adb in id 1.8 so when you uh, got all the files about the database how do you import that files so, so just i'm going to show you how will you import your file just go i will provide the link how to import your uh, file so just go on youtube and watch that video in this video I provide all the details how to upload the files this night is not working I will provide this link uh, below the video. Uh, using this video, you can see how to how to import or export yeah, data in MySQL Workbench. Huh? In MySQL Workbench, easily by uh, using this video, watching this video, by watch this video, you can see how to import the data and uh, how to import the data in your Workbench. You just need to download the uh, the project rar file, extract it, and just go a new new file and uh, you can use import project or as well as open project it's open project and uh, first uh, when you import project there is no problem but you have to configure the project like mysql java connector and glassfish if you like mm -hmm. my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos for more implemented project thank you so much for watching if you have any query you can please write down in comment i will try to solve it thank you